Hi, welcome guys. This is um, the flagship. <laughs> yes, it is the flagship. But yeah, it's plasma, I know. But we have this Acolyx 3 tool, right? Super easy. Just go and launch Control Alt E. And then you have the tweak tool, and that's what we love. So it doesn't matter which ISO you start with, just click away and you have DWM installed in one, two, three, four seconds. Done. You have DWM. Have fun. The topic of this video is a very interesting idea. A very interesting what if. What if on Arclex forum we have a user that has difficulties with a driver and let me find it again. Is this one? No signal to monitor after fresh install. And we were thinking and figuring things out and analyzing. That's, by the way, what we do here. We do not do it on Facebook, on YouTube, not even on Discord. I mean, here it stays and we can see what is the solution for this particular person. But I think it's the wrong one. And the idea is that he says everything works fine if I remove a package from your ISO, then it's working. So how strange is that? Um, let me find it because I want to show you. It was of course the first one, right? The last, uh, I just answered to like two hours ago, right? I had this what if and I said to him, so what we, look, we're, we're not private consultants, right? That's for one. We do this with passion, we do it with love, but we need information always. We need to have info. So an NC minus B is necessary. And probe is necessary. So here we start asking about probe and all that. It's in the Discord, in the rules. Go check up in Discord what the rules are in, in reporting. And then we can analyze more and more. And together we became smarter. He says, everything works fine if I do a pseudo Pacman minus R x86 video intel and then everything works so there's one package if he removes it he has a great system and everything works black screen gone now the thing that's probably not yet known enough is that we have shared all our building knowledge with you guys in arcolinuxb.com Anybody can build the ISO, our ISOs, our all our ISOs, 24 ISOs, this one, that one, on all these guys. You can build any ISO we have and change it any way you see fit. I had this what if. What if? What if you created your own ISO, but then without x86 video intel? No. Easy peasy, right? Flagship, that's if you want a flagship, if you want plasma, you go to plasma, if you want to have and so on, right? Just choose the one you want and delete the line 20, 127. And that's basically what we're going to show you. And hopefully, again, you become aware the power we give you. Because this doesn't happen of, often that these Arch Linux drivers conflict. This is the first time ever in three years that this needs to go before everything works again. So in his case, I would say, okay, now you know. But that's the point always, right? Knowledge, now you know. This thing needs to go. Build it yourself. And that's basically what's um, here. So if you follow this guy, it doesn't matter which one we take. So build your own on Arkham Lakes, February 11, to, to, don't look at the date. I mean, it's all up to date. We built our, our uh, ISOs all, well, I mean, maybe 20 per month or so. So yeah, you go do this thing, Git clone, the building procedure. It's all explained in the video, eh? but again, 
again another video super shift enter desktop i like to work on my desktop and then open the terminal here oh it's all there Control shift v i was already going to type boom so how technical can it be to create your own iso not that technical because everything is finished everything is okay you just need to edit the, the packages here it was line 127 line 127 right so this intel you need to go now deleting is one thing and hashtag in front of it in front of it is the same save i've saved it with ctrl s and i build it don't need this anymore how do we build installation scripts run build run build this is this is the first time you've ever built it you take 30 and otherwise if it's the second or the fifth time you try to build things right then you take the other one because it's never finished once you know this power you start thinking and say oh wouldn't it be nice is if vivaldi was not on there if gimp was not on there so this is our flagship uh, recipe let's say or packages list right so control find if you want to have this vivaldi okay vivaldi you're out so either you delete everything or you just put a hashtag in front of it i prefer a hashtag because next time when we make an iso in six months or 10 months or 20 months right you, you just get this file and you compare with your file and you see immediately with melt okay so i have deleted vivaldi so vivaldi is not there we do install vivaldi and intel is now on line 127 what was it is now not on our system anymore it's not going to be installed on our iso and all you have to do is walk away have a coffee drink a little bit anyway in about 15 minutes you get an iso without the packages or with the packages you want to have all right wanted to share that once more the power of building cheers